if one were to think about what kind of virus would really be able to infect the vast majority of the world's population and cause a, a worldwide catastrophe, it would be one that can infect a person, uh, remain relatively symptomless uh, for a few weeks, um, but still be able to spread that virus to other people. In that scenario, by the time anybody got sick from that virus infection, there would be hundreds if not thousands of people that were already infected and not know about it. And it's that kind of scenario that would make it really, really difficult uh, to enact any kind of public health measures to stop the virus from spreading. That may be a very difficult task to ask of a virus, is to be able to spread to someone without causing a disease. Uh, there may be an intricate link between causing disease and spreading virus. In the case of flu, it's you have to cough or sneeze to spread the virus. Many viruses may need to have exactly those types of interactions with people uh, to facilitate the spread. Uh, random common contact may not be enough to really significantly infect a lot of different people. It, it, it would be very difficult for a virus or any one particular infectious disease to completely decimate the human population. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Even though we are interconnected, there will always be pockets of people around that aren't in contact with others, and therefore this, a virus's ability to spread to those really uh, uh, obscure populations is going to be difficult. Any virus that's spreading is going to uh, expose people to different doses and some of those people will get a low dose, survive the infection, and then be immune to a subsequent infection. Humans um, are a very diverse population with respect to their genes, and it turns out that a lot of the diversity that we see um, comes into these immune system genes. And so to any one particular virus or pathogen, there's probably some small percentage of the human population that has a naturally occurring resistance to that infection. So, in, a, in the human population, there's probably a per small percentage of people that will always be resistant to any pathogen that comes through. 